Hey, what's going on YouTube? Whether you're a first time viewer or one of our current subscribers, I appreciate you coming back to check out the channel. Today we're going to be opening a box of the 22-23 Panini Obsidian Soccer Set. This is a hit-heavy hobby box, which is known for high-quality cards and limited print runs. And as a heads up, these released late last week, so we're a little late getting this video out. Uh, but they came out at a price point of $350 a box for seven cards. It's a bit more expensive than some of the other soccer sets we've seen so far this year, but we're going to rip this open and see what kind of return we get on ripping this box. The uh, base set itself features 200 cards, each with a black sort of an OptiChrome finish. They're limited to 115 copies each, so every card has some level of rarity to it, which is a nice thing for collectors. Uh, in addition to the base set, there's a number of parallels to chase. Uh, the electric edge parallels feature kind of a metallic finish. And newly this year, um, in this in this particular set, are the purple floods and gold floods, which everybody seems to be loving the gold flood so far. So hopefully, maybe we'll pull one of those today. Uh, the Contra is another popular uh, one of the parallels, so we'll keep an eye out for that. There's also inserts. We get one guaranteed in the box. There's a variety of them, like the Equinox, Supernova, Tunnel Vision, and of course, the most popular being the Black Color Blast. There's also, as you can see on the front of the box here, we're going to get autographs and mem cards, at least four of them. So there's a variety of sets there, six different types of autographs, several different kinds of uh, memorabilia cards. So that's a quick overview of what we can potentially get in this set. And I'm going to cut this open. We'll take a quick look so that you can see the uh, information on the box here. So we'll get uh, seven cards, four of which, as it says, autographs or memorabilia cards, on average, of course, the, the normal disclaimer. Uh, two numbered inserts of parallels per box, again, on average. Um, I can't complain lately. We did a museum box recently where we actually had one extra hit in it, so we've been ahead of the curve lately. Of course, the ultra rare black color black blast insert is the popular one. This is going to be a little hard to read and it probably doesn't help that I slice through it, but there you can get a uh, quick look if you want to pause the screen for a moment at all of the different types of cards you can get in here and the different parallels of them. But enough of that. Let's get this out of the package. And uh, take a look at what we get. We'll start here with a uh, Nunez. This should just be the base card. And I'm going to pull the insert off the back. Okay, so we got a supernova of William Saliba. Guy that's uh, making a case as one of the best center backs in the Premier League right now. And it's a rookie of Saliba, so that's a nice one. That is number 265. Is that 85? Can't quite tell. 65. So let's see. Um, I don't know what I did with my... Oh, there's a spacer. All right. Trying to keep you guys from seeing the next card. There is the Nunez rookie. This is just the base card, 115. And the next card 
Julian Alvarez rookie, Argentina kid. Numbered to 12, 12 of 12. That is the Neon Blue Flood. And that's a really nice one to get. Gorgeous card. Looks really clean. Centering's a little bit off. But that is a nice hit. The first of our mem cards here. And I am not even going to try his full name. We'll just go with Savic. It's a Galaxy Gear. That is numbered to, was that 50? A little hard to see. And this is player worn material. So that's nice for a box of this price. We should be expecting plain worn, game worn at a very minimum. And the trifecta material from Tuchimini from France. All the same color patch, unfortunately, but at least it matches the jersey that is on there. That is also numbered to 50, number one of 50. Let's see, that is licensed material not associated with any specific player game or event. So they cheaped out on that one. It's kind of a disgrace in uh, sets that are this expensive. They really should stop doing that, but... First autograph, Carl Heinz Riedel from Fulham on the Aurora autograph. Also numbered to 50, 32 out of 50. And for our final card here, Got a Jota. Interesting looking autograph there. Liverpool. Let's see if this one is not associated with any specific player gamer event. The autograph is guaranteed. That is number 58 of 165. Still probably the best of the bunch as far as the Autographs and memorabilia that we got. And get this in here. There we go. All right. Let's do a quick recap. Of course, the base card, Nunez rookie from Wolfhampton, number 115. The William Saliba Supernova rookie. And that was number 265. The Savic patch, war or I guess not game patch, but this is the one that was actually player worn. And numbered to 50. The uh, trifecta material, too too many. Not actually associated with any specific event, also numbered to 50. And then for our, just the base auto, essentially, Riddell from the Aurora. That one was numbered to 50 as well. Diego Joda auto with the mem. Not player worn, unfortunately. And probably my favorite hit of the box, to be quite honest, um, even though it's not an autograph or a mem. 
a blue flood um, or electric, I guess is what it's called, the uh, neon blue flood, I'm sorry, of Julian Alvarez in his Argentina kit, numbered to 12. And a little off center, but still probably the most desirable card of the bunch. Overall, uh, really like the product, like the design of the cards this year. Um, probably like to rip a little bit more of this. So we may be back with uh, more Obsidian here in the near future. We'll see how it goes. But overall, really like this year's set. Uh, a lot of variety. Wish the base set was a little uh, lower. 200 cards is quite a few for boxes that are this expensive. So not something for set collectors. But overall, uh, desirable product for singles and interesting cards if you want to chase down rookies of any of the players that are in the set. Uh, low numbered parallels, the floods are gorgeous. So some really desirable single cards out there. Probably not the best route to uh, chase them via hobby box. I don't think we made back the 350. Um, I have to do a little comparison later and see if I can find out. If I do, I can post an update in the comments of the video. But thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We are going to be doing a subscriber giveaway here in the near future with the Merlin releases. If we hit uh, 100 subscribers by the time that drops, we will be giving away some Merlin blasters. There'll be more information coming in a opening video when we do the Merlin, Merlin hobby box that comes out in uh, about a week and a half. So thanks for watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, pay attention to the channel for future giveaways.